Okay, one more quick heuristic. This one is called the anchoring heuristic. And the way this might work is if I ask you, how tall do you think Mount Everest is? And I first ask, is it greater or less than 1,500 feet tall? Well, you probably think it's higher than 1,500 feet tall. But now I ask to get an actual estimate from you. How tall actually do you think Mount Everest is? Th think about it and come up with an answer. How tall would you say it is? Well, in fact, the correct answer is 29,000 feet tall. But based on the anchoring heuristic, I'm willing to guess that you gave an answer less than 29,000 feet. You probably gave a much lower figure. But consider if I framed the opening question differently. If I said, how tall do you think Mount Everest is? And then I asked, is it greater or less than 60,000 feet tall? You would say it's probably less than 60,000 feet tall. And then when I ask you to give your estimate, you would probably, under these circumstances, come up with a number higher than 29,000. And the reason for this is the anchoring heuristic. So if I give you a low anchor to begin with, 1,500 feet, you would go, well, of course it's higher than that. And you would start to adjust in your mind up from 1,500, but you don't go quite enough. In the same case, if I give you a high anchor of 60,000 feet, you start to mentally move down from 60,000, but you just adjust down less than you need to. So you're always going to adjust or oftentimes adjust less than you need to. To put this a little more concretely, if you imagine a number line, if the anchor is at 1,500 feet, you'll move up from the anchor as you should without quite hitting the figure that you're looking for, whereas if you start at a higher estimate, you'll move down and get to another wrong answer, but one that's wrong in the other direction. So in summary, what we've seen across these three heuristics is that people use quick tricks to form judgments, to efficiently make choices and decisions. So we rely on the ease of thinking, which is the anchoring or the uh, availability heuristic, rather. We rely on the similarity over probability. This is the representativeness heuristic. And we rely on arbitrary starting points more than we would uh, if we had been given different starting points or if we hadn't been given them at all. That's the anchoring heuristic. So across all of these things, what we see is that when people are faced with a judgment, Rather than really thinking deeply and rationally every single time, people will default to these quick ways of making choices that can often pan out and give us the right answer. But by over-relying on them, we can sometimes get ourselves in a little bit of trouble.